Hi, and welcome back to Scotty's Tech Down Info. I'm Scotty, my furry co-host Cletus. So, what do you do if you have an electrical cable or a wire and you're, say, in your workshop and you start screaming like a banshee, swinging a shovel around wildly, and you cut right through an electrical cable or something, and fortunately you don't die, but of course you need to fix your cable. Maybe you have an underground buried electrical cable in a conduit that was cut, and you want to join it with a waterproof connector. Uh, what do you use for that kind of thing? Well, fortunately, there's a couple couple different products available, and apparently they're now more widely available, at least where I live. And uh, so, right, let's take a look. Okay, so for the, the first kind is these little guys, and these are for uh, not solid, not this kind, solid copper wire, but for stranded copper. Uh, and what you do is you take your two stranded copper wires and you stick oh, this is gonna be I don't know that's not so bad stick those in there and kinda you know cross your solder there this is sometimes the, the people call these butt splices and all kinds of different they've got like 50,000 different names especially when you're searching in multiple languages but uh, in any case this is for fixing a single wire stranded copper they're available in all different types of diameters, and it's very it's very simple. This clear thing is just heat shrink tubing. In the center, there's a blob of uh, lower temperature solder, and these two colored bands are uh, uh, it's a type of thermal adhesive that, uh, as the heat shrink tubing shrinks, the adhesive kind of melts and it it glues itself to the to both the heat shrink tubing and the the actual insulation of the wire. And of course, the solder blob in the middle, when you heat it with a proper heat gun, it melts solders the two wires together, glue attaches to the insulation, the whole tube shrinks and you get a nice waterproof, dustproof seal and a good electrical connection. These are a little bit tricky to use so um, if you get some of these and have them on hand, which I recommend, you should probably do a test on some scrap pieces of wire first because you need the proper amount of heat, the proper sized uh, heat gun. I have a big fat heat gun and yeah it's kind of like too much heat because um, yeah it's kind of a it's kind of a disaster but um any old heat gun will do but like i say you're gonna have to sort of probably do a few tests until you get the hang of it because you don't want the the heat shrink tubing to shrink too much but you want the solder to melt and if you heat it too much the solder can actually bubble out of the the heat shrink tubing and stuff so there's it's kind of an art form so just be aware that uh, you'll have to practice but once you learn how to use them they're very 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 cool very effective and they're pretty darn cheap, so uh, it's good to have some of these on hand. I have a whole ton now. Uh, this is only one box. So that's for if you need to repair a single wire. If you want to repair a cable, I would highly recommend one of these. Um, this is for a three-conductor cable. <clears throat> it's IP68 rated. The six means it's essentially 100% dustproof, and the eight means that it's waterproof uh, submerged in water to a minimum of like one meter down to a maximum depth of like three meters or something this guy will basically stay waterproof and how he works is basically when you have a an electrical cable like what did I do with my electrical cable like this guy he's a three conductor 3g 2.5 three conductor 2.5 square millimeter copper don't ask me what that is in American wire gauge because yeah, I don't know. With the, I think you've got your insulated wires and your PVC sheath. This guy kind of fits over the end here, and then you've got your other cable coming in the other end. <clears throat> and it's pretty simple. When you screw those guys down, you get a nice waterproof connection on both ends that holds the, on the, the black sheath of the cable. And then inside here, you just have this, which is basically holes in that side, holes in that side, and then the wires are actually screwed together, just like, just like these guys. Uh, but in this case, it's inside here, and you notice you have a seal on here, so you tighten this down nicely. That's waterproof, and you've got your cable coming in, your cable coming in, and you tighten these guys down, and that that clamps down on the cable, and you've got your rubber seal. So yeah, these are pretty simple to use, and they're pretty pretty cheap actually and um, they're totally dust and waterproof so um, yeah that's pretty 
this is kind of like the go-to guy for a cut cable. They also come in different shapes and sizes. This one is for a five conductor cable, three phases, neutral and ground, up to four square millimeter wire, which is which is pretty thick. Um, so this would be for like a, a fat three phase cable that's cut. So um, those are available. That's available for a standard single phase. And then you have fun things like this guy, which is a it's exactly the same as this, but it's a T connector. So it's actually to join three different cables together. Um, which I thought was pretty cool. I have no idea what I'd use it for, but you never know, so I had to buy one of those too. <laughs> anyway, so these guys come in different shapes and sizes. Uh, usually, like, this one is for up to four square millimeter. You can put, like, between one and four square millimeter. Uh, same thing with this one. I think this one goes up to... Um, I think it's... Actually, it's written on there. It's for 450 volt... 24 amp, 1.0 to 2.5 square millimeter wire, IP68, 3 conductor. So, um, yeah, and as you can see, it'll accommodate different diameters of cables and stuff. So, these are these are probably your best bet. I will say that if you're, uh, several electricians recommended to me, it's a 3M product, and I don't have one because they're very expensive, and it's kind of a little bit time-consuming. It's essentially a uh, a plastic electrical box and you put your, your cables in and you join your wires together with your your typical types of dominoes, whichever type you like, connect all together in, in, the, in this electrical box like you normally would, and then what you do is it comes with a resin, and you pour the resin in and it fills it in kind of like this little gizmo here, where they just fill it in like it's like potting. They fill it in and the resin hardens and you end up with a plastic box that's essentially, well it's actually a plastic box filled with hardened resin, with your cables going in and your wires joined. That's also 100% waterproof, dustproof. Um, and those are highly recommended by a couple different electricians I know. The only reason I like these better is because the resin takes a long time to dry and usually when you cut a cable or something it's like get it back up and running as quickly as possible. And these are also much cheaper than the whole resin solution. So yeah, I would I would actually go for this guy because um, it's, re it's removable, it's waterproof, it's dustproof, they're cheap. And, yeah, Bob's your uncle, so. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, for more techie tips, see scottystech.info. Thanks for watching. See you next time.